Welcome back. This is lecture video 5.5, which is 3.5 in your textbook. We're talking about projectile motion, and we've mentioned before how that projectiles are anything that doesn't have force acting on it except for gravity. So a ball thrown or a cannon or something propelled, that is a projectile. What we have learned previously is that the horizontal motion is going to be cons uh, at a, a constant speed. It is going to go forward at a constant speed as it's falling towards the earth. And it will make a parabola as a shape. So here are two balls. One is launched and the other is dropped at the same moment. And you're going to see a strobe light that's going to show its location at various uh, time intervals. And every interval, you're going to see that the ball is falling the same amount down, depend, um, independent of it's going out. So the yellow ball is being uh, hurled outwards by a cannon, but the gravity is affecting it exactly the same as the red ball. And so you've got two different components. You've got an X component which is going to be equally distant um, as, it's, as it's hurled outward. And then you have the vertical component, which in the case of gravity here is acting downward and it's going to be accelerating. So you're going to get a, you can see the lower part of the, the red balls are farther apart than the upper part because they're going faster uh, at the later time. So you've got two uh, things going on at the same time. You've got the horizontal component and the vertical component that are independent of each other. And uh, because they're independent, you're going to end up with a par parabolic curve. So a parabola, if you remember a parabola from uh, math class, a parabola is always going to be kind of like this. If you're graph graphing it, it's going to come up um, exponentially. So it's not based upon y equals mx plus b, which is a straight line. It's y equals x squared. It's not x to the 1 power. So it's not mx plus b, but it's mx squared plus something. So it's mx plus uh, x squared plus b will give you this shape of, of a parabola. And that's what's going to happen because time, gravity, is based up, the distance formula is based upon the square of time. So as t uh, the longer time gets, the farther something is going to fall, and you're going to get a parabolic curve as a result. So here's a question: At the instant a horizontally point pointed cannon is fired, a cannonball at its side drops to the ground. Which hits first? Well, if you go back to the picture we saw, there one's being hurled, the other one's being dropped. They're dropping at the same rate, so they will hit the ground at the same time. One will hit the ground very far away, and one will hit the ground very close to where it started, but exactly the same amount of time. So shooting a bullet from a gun will land on the ground at the same time as if you drop a bullet from the gun, um, depending on it. The speed doesn't have anything to do with it in the extraction. So both cannonballs will have the same vertical distance to fall and the same acceleration of gravity on both, so they will, they will strike the ground at the same time. So to think about this, do you know the difference between the X component and the Y component? Could you draw it? Draw it on the side of your paper, doodle, and see if you could, could draw a projectile um, trajectory. Okay, great. Thank you.